Steve Cook with Premier Guitar and PremierGuitar.com. Today we are looking at the Trick Fish Trilobite. What's a trilobite? Well, a trilobite is an organism that lived millions and millions of years ago, and you could probably find them at never mind. Anyhow, the trilobite is this really cool little DI. It's sort of a Swiss Army knife, uh, if you would, for bass players because it does lots of things. They've designed it to take it to the studio, practice at home, uh, use it live, which is really cool. It weighs less than two pounds which is also very nice, and it has a bunch of features. So, let's jump in. Before we jump in, signal chain is very simple. It is a, uh, it's a Fender Precision Deluxe uh, with Nordstrand pickups, for those of you scoring at home, uh, into the Trilobite, and we are coming right out of the DI on the Trilobite into an Apogee Quartet in a Pro Tools. So, let us look at this little guy. We have two channels, the A and B. Look at that. Uh, if it were three channels, the next would be, sorry. Anyhow, but uh, switcher down here uh, between A and B. Then it was, sorry for the movement. And then we have an FX loop, which is switchable, which is really hip. And then we have an overall mute. Um, these are obviously the EQ controls and the controls for each channel. We have your gain, we have bass, we have your low mids, which is switchable as I switch. I don't want to move this too much for camera focus and such. We have the high mids treble, and then we have the master volume over here. We'll get to the back panel in one second. So why do you have two channels? Well, two channels are really cool because then you can set up your main tone, and then you can set up an auxiliary tone, maybe your solo tone, maybe a, uh, a slap tone, maybe you have something else, you, a different bass you want to compensate for. Um, and yes, you can plug two bases into this trilobite. So uh, that's why AB is a pretty cool thing. And um, for those of you familiar with Trick Fish, this is the basically the the channels are the same as their uh, bullhead amp. And so it's just without the amplifier. So if you liked that amp, then you can have it in this convenient little less than two pound package. So let us hear the difference. Uh, if you want to switch, there's my indicator light, meaning it works. Level some of that off. up a little bit. Now suppose you have an OD pedal that sounds a little bit better with maybe some mud, some mud, with some mud, uh, or a mid push on it. And you go to your second channel has a little bit more bite programmed into this. And then you can hit your FX switch, which of course I have no FX on here, but that's what it looks like. And then boom, so your effects are in and then your new channel's in. So you can kind of get some different things happening within your own sound. So um, it's very straightforward if you're just dialing in for bass tone. So a lot of things you can do here, obviously EQ is EQ, you know, pepper to taste uh, as your bass needs, as your tone needs. Um, but in addition to a really great sounding front end, let's look at the back panel and see what makes this so unique. There's a lot going on back here because the Trilobite lets you do so much. Now, the first thing you may notice are two DIs. Why do you have two DIs? Well, uh, a couple reasons. First of all, you can set up uh, a DI at, that goes to front of house, which is a great tone kind of a thing. Then you can also set up a DI that goes to your in ears, and that is that's sort of why they did that. So you could have a uh, so you could have the tone that pleases you in your ears, and then you can have the tone that the front of house needs 
and, uh, and that's kind of a cool thing. Also, when you're tracking with this, you can also send your effects to one side of it, and then you can have it clean for a front of house or for you know a, a dedicated channel. So why is that cool? Well, maybe you have this bass effect that you thought was really cool at the time, and then the producer says later, and eh, it doesn't really work because we did something else. Well, they still have a clean track, so it makes sense. You know, you don't have to go back and doctor. So that's kind of nice too. So um, anyhow, so we have those DIs, which is not, which is again, I'm a fan of two DIs on the. Uh, on the back of preamps just for that reason, just so you can have a clean and a dirty um, or affected um, and have options. Options are always good. So let's start over here. Sorry, I keep moving this on you. It's so light, that's why it keeps moving. So we've got the, uh, the power in here. We have a line in, so you can take your eighth inch, your iPod generation one and plug it in right there and, uh, and practice along with it silently because you have headphones in. Then this goes to your amp. So right here is your tuner in, dedicated tuner in is nice. You don't have to put that in your signal chain. Uh, this is an insert, uh, send and return. And what that does, that's 100% in and 100% out. So it's a great place for a volume pedal or a compression pedal, a leave on all the time kind of a thing. Um, and then you have your DIs over here. And then you have the effects loop, the effects section. This is actually a side chain kind of a thing. So you can come in, set up your effects loop, and then you can blend how much of your effects you want with the original signal, which is great. So you, again, more tonal options on this with the DIs and with how much you can hear in your ears and then you can hear it front of house. And, uh, and again, switch it, A, B, FX switching on the front end, a lot going on, uh, which is nice. So then you have your inputs over here, your quarter inch ends for your single bass, or if you want two, then you have double bass there. Wait, there's more. If that weren't enough, we have many switches. We have a pre and post over here, DI. We have your ground lift. And then we have the mono and dual switches, which just basically tells the trilobite, hey, there's two instruments in here as opposed to just one. So don't take my word for it. Check out the trial bite from Trickfish at your local store. You can also order them directly from Trickfish and, uh, and have fun. That's what it's all about. Make sure you read the written review, which I did uh, in our magazine, the magazine, which is print, you know, it's a good thing. And then we also have online. So on the subway, check it out, listen to sound samples, technology, it's great. Get rid of the cricket phone. You don't need it. Never mind. Anyhow, so, for Premier Guitar, PremierGuitar.com, this is Steve Cook, and I'll see you real soon.